Hey everyone, this is Hero Tall Mighty 2011. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we finished Arbiter's Grounds, took down Star Lord, and apparently saw the origin of Gandorf's suicide attacks in Super, Sa Super Smash Brothers. In this episode, we now have a um, another destination to go to. We have to figure out where the pieces of the Mirror of Twilight are, and we were given uh, three locations for it. You know, padding. Anyway, our first destination, we were told, it's in the Snowy Mountain. But before that, now that we have the spinner, believe it or not, there's actually a few things we can do in um, Hyrule to get a few optional um, pieces of heart. Plus, there's some things that I want to get done first. On top of that, now that I actually have my game back instead of the friggin' emulator, I'm gonna go get revenge on that Poe. So, I'm gonna warp back to the beginning of um, the Gerudo Desert so I can go beat him up since... Last time, the hitboxes and the sun coming up prevented me from doing so. By the way, I should mention, um, with most of the dungeons, you have the ability... Um, when you exit the dungeons, it's automatically daytime when you exit. This, I think, is one of the only dungeons that when you exit, it's automatically nighttime. So, let's go get the revenge on this bastard, shall we? Hey! Of course, the first thing I met. Oh, don't tell me. Come on, hey. Oh, come on. I got the game back already. Don't mess up the hitboxes. Take that. Oh, no, no, no. Do not go in there. Okay, finally. There we go. Okay, now that we got that back, the first thing we want to do is actually go back to um, West Hyrule Field, which is right around over here. So I will meet you guys there when I warp there. Now, unfortunately, and I think I've said this before, because there's no sun song in this game, there's no way to basically change this back in the daytime. So if you want something done in the day, you're going to have to wait. And I stabbed him in the dick. Anyway, remember when I told you earlier in the LP that you wanted to open this section up just to make it more convenient for yourself? Well, yeah, now we're actually going to go there. Um, it's a little bit of a trek, so I'm actually going to go and get a Pona, which realistically I should have met you over by the horse call. So, yeah. Quick uh, speed shoe edit. Okay, now that we're over by the horse call, let's call our horse, which I thought that sign was her. Wow, I'm having really bad vision problems for some reason. Long time no see, my friend. It's actually been five months since I last played the game after I checked my, um... My file. Anyway, we go inside of this section of Hyrule because now that we have the spinner, there's actually a little puzzle that we can do um, to get a piece of heart. There's also an introduction of... Remember those um, Lizifos from the Lake Bed Temple? Yeah, well, they're going to start spawning around this section of Hyrule now, so you want to be careful. Which, let's just run him over. Um, apparently not run him over, we're just going to run through him. Anyway, just jump off, and I guess they're just gonna follow us, right? No? Oh, um, they're just gonna walk around. I don't feel safe, so- Oh, there he, there he goes. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought. Um, okay, I need to remember how to do this, because I actually don't, um, recall- Oh, wait, um, is there a track over- Yeah, there we go. Um, there are two track- Are those yellow roots? Wow, those stay here? Okay, you learn something new every day. Um, there are two tracks here. One is just a shortcut through this area if you want to use a spinner, but here's the track we need to take. Going up here. Now, if I remember correctly, you don't want to touch anything until this section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Okay, now this was the thing that we were waiting for. Inside this treasure chest is a piece of heart. And in the last dungeon, we got two more pieces of heart, so we already completed another heart container, as you can see by the really awkward heart jutting off of our health bar over there. So now, where we want to go, we actually want to go to East Hyrule, but since it's relatively close to the war point, I'm just going to warp there and not cut away from it, so. Okay, now that we're in East Hyrule, um, there's actually a, um... Hey! I completely forgot that he interrupts you here. I didn't even think he can spawn here. That's weird. Oh, hi, mailman. It's been five months since I last checked my mail. Little twister leg. I have come to deliver a letter. It's a letter from Barnes. 
Now my business is concluded. Onward to me. I apologize for any of your ears that have been destroyed after that. Oh, well, might as well check what the letter is. I think this letter is um, telling us about... Uh, I think this letter is telling us about the third type of bomb, which I mentioned before, that are the bomblings. The first um, bombs that you got in... Hold on a minute. This guy is going to interrupt me. The first bombs that you get in the... Um, in the um the first dungeon the, remember those things that i said were grasshoppers yeah you actually get to carry those around although they're the uh tiniest bombs you can carry around and by tiny i mean tiny in um inventory since i believe you can only carry around 20 as a maximum however something that we're going to be doing today is actually increasing that that's another side quest that i want to get tackled down maybe in this video or the next one in any case let's head over and oh it's actually daytime so, I guess, um, when you exit Arbiter's Grounds, it drops you off at, like, 5 in the morning or something. Anyway, over here, there's gonna be a lot of, um, archers and snipers, but you want to completely avoid them and go over in this direction. At least, I believe, is this, this direction. Uh, did I just go in a circle? I did. Um, <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Anyway, uh, quick speed shoot edit here, I guess. Okay, now that that embarrassment's over, um, you actually want to head over here, and you see that thing covered up by rocks? We can't do anything about that right now, so we go over here, completely ignore the fact that these enemies exist, and go over to this little alclave over here. I don't know why, but this cliff side over here is actually pretty nice, and I would sleep here if this place wasn't out in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, you notice how there's a uh, little circle of grass? We have to dig as our wolf and go down into this secret hole. Oh my. Man, I made that sound dirty. Surprise, hey, motherfucker. Oh, okay, <laughs> he scared me for a second. Um, if you remember the last dungeon, um, yeah, the Stalfos is as intimidating as they look, they're really freaking easy. All you have to do is this. I I took two of them out at the same time. Oh hey, but <laughs> I hit myself, but um yeah, pretty simple. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a piece of heart, because if not, I'm going to be upset. I hope I'm remembering correctly. I know it's been a while since I actually played this, but something I should point out, which... Hold on, let me open up the treasure chest. Oh yeah, it is a piece of heart. Okay, so we were making the right direction. Um, something I should point out while we're doing this. Um, this is going up after um, we... We uh, took a break from Sonic Adventure, but I apologize for Knuckles story because I It actually was my fault for why the footage got corrupted because I was trying to save up space on Twilight Princess and because of that essentially the game the The game audio and everything got messed up So I, ha I had to redo the whole thing and I was like really like blown out when I was doing it So I pretty much just said screw it in any case the first thing that we have to do, well, first thing, well, the first side quest I want to do is, remember, um, in, before we went to, um, Arbiter's Grounds, I wanted to see if that side quest in Kakariko was open for the Malomart. Yeah, um, considering we have a lot of rupees on us right now, let's, let me actually see if we can do that. So I will meet you when we're inside Malomart. Twelve seconds later. Okay, so considering that this guy is outside of Malamart, that means that yes, we can initiate this side quest. The side quest that I mentioned before is, um, inside Malamart, when they mention that you need, um, they need a thousand rupees to fix the bridge, yeah, by doing this side quest and getting the score on, um, hot, hot spring water, not only do you get the, um, the, um, the side quest shortened by, like, like friggin' um 80%, but you also get a piece of heart out of it. So let's talk to him. Uh talk to him. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> long, long ago I predicted you would come, my brother. Let me tell you, did you not see my young one in trouble in Castle Town? He has been stuck standing there for he cannot get any hot spring water. Alas, the East Castletown Bridge remains broken. 
Hey, perhaps fortune is my turn. For looking, for it looks like Molomart is raising money to repair the bridge. It's a fine thing, my brother. Perhaps you might consider contribution fundraising a little, not? Oh, wait a minute. We're supposed to do the bridge. Oh, I remember now. We're supposed to do the bridge first, and then it gets lowered. Okay. So how much do they need? Five hundred. Oh yeah, we. Ha oh yeah, we have plenty. Let's just contribute all of them, because I was actually running out of room for money. <laughs> wow, um, I'm probably going to make that obnoxiously loud in post, but, um... Glorious day! We have recovered enough funds to fight as repairs of the bridge connecting Hyrule Castle Town to Eastfield, brother! I f***ed that up so badly! Those corrupt price-gouging shops in Castle Town are officially on notice. Soon they will rue. Jesus, that baby's still creepy. We hope you will continue your financial support to the efforts to sell products in town at discounted prices, Bretta. And so, now that we um, repair the bridge, I think now we can do that side quest. Please let me be right, because I have been wrong this entire time that I've been um, trying out that side quest. You. You made a donation, did you not? I'm far side in all things, my brother. Tell me, do you know about my young one in Casa? Yeah, I know. Look on it. No! Wrong! But you just told... You just told me... I will be right back. Tomorrow. Oh, wait one freaking moment. I just remembered something. Now that we have... Oh, yeah, by the way, I shouldn't make a notice. Um, this is the part of the game where now that... Where we have the wolf form and everything... Um, there's two things we can do in um, Elden Field. One, these guys will start showing up and they'll actively chase you around, so this is a bad idea to bring um, your wooden shield here or anything. And two, there's actually a... Is that thing coming towards me? Oh my god, it is. Uh, bump! <laughs> that was overkill, but okay. Um, okay, that scared me for a second. Um... A second thing you can do is, um, you can actually dig in, I forget what section of this, um, field, but you can dig here and get free water bombs pretty much because you can, um, just fish them out. Anyway, I just remembered this section, now that we have the claw shot, there's actually a piece of heart here. So, let's go over and get them by, um, again, once, um, once again using speed shoes. Okay, now that we're over here, which, by the way, I realized something. Uh, we could have came here earlier. We didn't need the claw shot. Anyway, I believe this is a piece of heart. Yes, it is. Okay, so now I will meet you over to the bridge, and whoa, I almost jumped in that pit. Do now for sure. Oh, I do not feel like doing a thing now that the bridge is fixed, but my body feels terrible. I cannot just go look for stuff to sell. You know, all I really need is a shower and myself some piping hot spring water to get back to feeling normal. Okay, now the cutscene should be activated, which by the way, f*** you. Okay, now let's warp back to freaking Kakariko. What? <laughs> I can't win today. Eventually. Okay, now that we're back in Kakariko, please tell me I can do this freaking side quest. I don't even want to do this side quest. The side quest sucks. Let me just do it. <laughs> I'm far sign all things, my brother. I'm sure he's hanging his head somewhere in the East Cape right this moment. Here's my plan, brother. I will prepare some piping hot spring water, and you will douse the young one and revitalize him. What do you say? Will you do it? Oh, I see. I'm counting you. Make the run, my brother. Hot spring water cools down as time passes, so if you don't hurry, the water will end up as plain old cold water, my brother. Now, I wasn't exaggerating when I said that this side quest sucks. You have to carry a giant barrel, which just spawned in, if I can go back frame by frame. You have to carry a giant bottle of hot spring water all the way across Hyrule um, Elden Field. Now, if you did this earlier, this isn't that bad, because you don't have so many things coming after you. However, you do have to worry about levers coming out of the ground. Now, you can drop the bottle and go attack them. However, 
you are going to be constantly bombarded by enemies that constantly want your dick. On top of that, too, if anything touches the bottle, you got to do it again. There's nothing that indicates that you failed. You just have to go back to Kakariko Village. So the one time you want the Mario logic to warp you back to the start of the mission, it doesn't apply here. And on top of that, too, you also are timed because this thing cools down if you, um, I think it's like three minutes on this field. And if you miss the Goron, tough <laughs> Well, um, you know, maybe it's the Let's Play curse, but I actually didn't have that hard of a time this time. Anyway. Say... Is that some Kakariko hot spring water you have there, brother? If you pour it on me, I'm sure it will restore my strength. So lock on to him and toss. Oh! I feel rejuvenated. The smell, that heat, it's spring water from back home. I, 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 I wave dashed over to the other side of him. Well, I'm going back to the work and open up the shop. And realistically, he shouldn't have made it back there that quickly, but, you know, uh, not complaining. How are you carrying it that fast? Well, let's just go pick up a reward. I was just gonna leave it there in the field, too. And we already have a fourth heart piece, too. So now that that, um, frankly, that BS is over, I'm actually gonna go searching for a golden bug, because I'm actually running low on money. I'll meet you when I find one. Uh... Silly me, I forgot, I had two golden bugs and I haven't turned them in yet, so that's some easy money right there. Okay, now let's go over to Agatha. That, that cat is still, wow, that cat's fast. Um, yeah, let's just go over here and, I, why is there a pedophilic guy outside the door? Now I'll meet you back after I get some money, but first I'll show the montage of me handing in the bugs. Okay, now that we're back in Kakariko, and I actually realized I forgot something in Castletown, but we have to go back there anyway, so it's alright. Um, now that we're back in Kakariko, um, now that we have that bridge restored, now there's a new fundraiser. Thanks to all, the bridge is built, the trade route is secure, and we saved money from the economic development of Castletown. But in order to reach your Castletown goal, we still need 200 rupees. Now... If you didn't do that side quest before this, this would be 2,000 rupees. So this is the discount I was talking about where it's essentially 80%. Or, I, I don't know, I can't do math right now. Anyway, that's why I went to go get the money. Anyway, let's give him 200 and... Another obnoxious sound that I'm probably going to make louder just to annoy you. Glorious day, we achieved our goal, brother. Today marks the day that another legendary establishment was born. You should travel Castletown later. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Eh, thanks. Thank you for your cooperation, brother. Okay, so like they were saying before, we now have a new shop available to us, but we can't do anything there anyway um, for the time being. So now we want to head back to Castletown because if you remember, bringing the hot spring water is actually helpful since that Gorm was able to open up his shop back in uh, Castletown and we actually need him over there for something, which again, I will meet you back there. Actually, I think there's something else over here that I forgot to show off. And if I bring open my water bombs and my iron boots, which... We go back to that place where I got the piece of heart originally in that um, deep spring. I think now that we have water bombs, there is something available to us. Just jump in this pool. Use the iron boots, which we are probably drowning, so this is probably a bad idea, and I hope I can get this before I run out of air. Otherwise, I'm going to have to switch, and that's going to kill time. 
yeah, sure enough, purple rupee. That was worth our time coming over here, so now we have a little bit of more money. Anyway, um, I believe for this next part, I need to have an open bottle. So I'm going to release this red potion because I don't really need it. All right, now I'll meet you guys back in Castletown. Meanwhile. Really? What now? <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I've come to deliver a letter. It's a letter from Malamar. Oh, right. You get this after the... <sighs> ah, my business included. I'll the mail. <laughs> that guy has a mottled ass. I just noticed that. Uh, I forgot. You get a letter telling them that the store is open. Again, we can't do anything for, about it right now because we're actually low on money, so we're just going to ignore it for now. Now I'll meet you by that shop. One hour later. Okay, over by the shop, which it has a line, which we're going to cut in front of. Oh, I remember you, brother. Thanks to you, we're now able to open the shop again. I'll give you the special price on spring water. How is 20 rupees? Got it, brother. I'll provide you some steaming hot spring water. You got hot spring water, but drink it while it's hot. Set it, use it extra Y. It'll get cold, it'll be ordinary water. You know, unlike Wind Waker, they don't tell you the time limit on this, but I think it is like three or five minutes. Anyway, now that we have that, we actually want to rush down to um south of um Castletown because I didn't show this off last time when we saw Agatha, but there's actually a Goron down here, and um it's not the most helpful thing, but essentially I, what I'm going to do right now is actually opening up a shortcut. Plus, I'm going to stay around here for a little bit because I actually want to grind some rupees. And, oh, speaking of Agatha, she's right over there. Anyway, um, before when I first played this game, I originally used the hot spring water all the way from Ka um, Kakariko to try to go over here. Yeah, don't do that. Hey, you are a human, yes? The other Gorons told me about you, brother. Take, uh, just take a look at those rocks. Amazing, there was a landslide or something. What are you doing here anyway, brother? Are you trying to pass through here? <laughs> hey, brother, you smell like you have some hot spring water there. I took If I took a drink of that, I, could t I would feel so strong, I could probably get rid of all these rocks. Well, if you want to get through here, you could just give me the hot spring water that you have there. <laughs> yeah! Goron power, go! This guy is like a Power Ranger, pretty much. Well, I'm going to start working on this, so why don't you come back in a little while? All right, I forgot he doesn't open this right away. He's essentially making a shortcut for us, which, by the way, if you do go over to him... I mean, don't hurt him, but you get knocked back. Uh, he's essentially making us a shortcut, and if I remember correctly, there actually is something we want over here, which... Um... You see those crows over there? I think what we want comes from actually killing them, so I'm going to cut till after I killed all of them. So I'll see you guys then. Two hours later. So silly me forgot to mention something. Mostly just because I just remembered it. Um, on top of um having to come here in terms of um in terms of uh <laughs> in terms of something we need. Yeah, I remember what we needed. There was a golden bug over here. Okay, now I'll come to all these crows getting killed. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay, so after killing all the uh, crows, which, by the way, I should mention that their official name is actually Gwei. But, um, before we go up there, um, I'm curious. What's in this rock? There shouldn't be a reason why it's just jutting out here like that. Okay, so what is behind the rock? Sorry for the cut. I had to, uh, take care of something. Oh, just a bunch of more rupees. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. Um, there should be something up on this vine, right? Oh, watch me be wrong like normal, though. Uh, I feel that, like, you know, it's weird. It, it's a weird part of the game when it's sunset out in real life and then the sunset in the actual game. Uh, one thing I hate about fall, the fact that it, the sun sets, um, quicker. Oh, there's a rock trail. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to explore what's inside of here, and then... Did, what did that A button say? I think it said, like, roll or something. I actually don't remember. Oh, inside... Tech... Tech... Um, quickly switch. Arrow, 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 arrow. Thank God for that. 
How did all this fit inside of this tiny... This is like a hidden lake. Uh, why am I questioning Zelda logic? Anyway, open up this. Um, what is this anyway? Oh, wow, an orange rupee. Okay, that's gonna be helpful. Now, this is gonna seem like a weird place to end it off. But I'm actually gonna end off the video here because there's one more thing we have to do before we continue with plot. But the video is long enough as it is, so... I'm just gonna warp over to where we need to go, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So, in the next episode, we're going to continue with plot, but first, we're gonna actually extend our bomb count by paying a little visit to, um, Hannah and her sister. See you guys later.